All right. Well, here's another one from Kent Nishimura. Yes. Who'd you say? I said <laughs> Kent Nishimura. It's going to be a household name after this. Well, if it's if this is anything like the last one we did, I mean, how could it not be? It was impeccable. Let me check the date. Let me check the date before I go crazy here. But uh, this is, he's playing, now this is not a, a slow tune like the last one. Mm -hmm. This is also last year, so he probably was 16. Um, and uh, we're going to check him out. Solo acoustic guitar, um, 16 years old, playing Van McCoy's uh, The Hustle from 1975. <laughs> you remember the disco tune? Do, 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 Yeah, the hustle. Do the hustle. Now, there's no strings, so sure. there's a lot of pressure, I think, with this one. So, so first, I want to say, you know, disco has gotten a really bad reputation over the years and there's a whole movement to that disco sucks and everything i've always liked it i've I've, I've, I've always liked it because you know musically it's actually really good it's a great arrangements um you know usually pretty good vocals strings um, people don't under you know they underappreciate strings yeah. and incredible harmonies and then when but, a great I mean, guitar when, rips through it it's just yeah awesome. But when it came out and you contrast it with other music of the time, like, I don't know, Led Zeppelin or something like that. Well, they were pissed. It was a huge no, contrast. Yeah. Um, but but I've always liked it. So this will yeah, be interesting uh, to hear the hustle later. on the guitar. And yeah. then now it's being played uh, by an Asian 17-year-old prodigy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's incredible that it's, it's crossing the generations. Yeah. So, you know, and let's see how he does with disco. All right, here we go. All right, Kent Nishimura, once again, this time doing the disco classic, The Hustle. Maybe always made me think of uh, strange magic. Oh yeah. He's doing the rhythm part, the drum part, the the melody. That the he's doing it all. The bass, yeah. You see his picking hand is all groomed for classical. Oh yeah. Got groove. 
you notice most of the videos, he's maintaining that 404 beat with yeah. his thumb for the percussion. But it works. Well, I mean, that's that just fun. as good as the last one, uh, maybe even better. I, I mean, he's playing all the parts. He's a full band using one instrument. It's, it's unbelievable. And he's playing mid-70s disco. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was. It's kind of funny. This, he's got to want it. You know, it's not like his, his father's going, you know, get back in your room and do more hustle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> do the hustle. <laughs> yeah, do the hustle. No hustle. <laughs> He just, it's, uh, what an odd choice. It's amazing. Well, I, the, you know, what, what really impresses me the most, I think, is how in time he is. Since he's playing all these intricate parts, he's playing the bass line, he's playing the melody, he's playing the rhythm and the beat all at the same time. And, and it's in perfect time. When he does those runs, uh, those lead runs, Every yeah. note is exactly perfectly placed. I mean, it's yeah, classical it's training. That's classical training. Unbelievable. And, and yeah, I've seen five or six now. That this one made me realize that he has a system, and he yeah. rests his thumb, you know, on his picking hand, doing that percussion, and yeah. he's pretty much maintaining that four-four beat to keep yeah. him the rest in line, and it's and it just works for him. Uh, and he can come out with stuff like this, where, like you say, he's playing that, you know, that sort of percussive. Um, you know, groove in line and then yeah. he's playing the melody over it. Yep. And uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Very cool. Talented kid, man. Oh man. No, no question. Uh, Keeps your attention, you know, even whether it's something slow like Nora Jones or, or something offbeat like this, where, you, you know, I, I miss the string. Sure. And I miss that fat bass line. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, this, you but know, there's something like when, when I say you playing rush, I, I miss that. Yes. <laughs> When, you know. when you see someone who is who has mastered their craft, he has mastered his craft here, and everything is perfect. So you can't help but be mesmerized by watching this and and seeing just how perfect it really is. It's it's even yeah, if you don't like perfect, it, yeah. even, even if you don't like the song, you you have to admire his uh, how good he is at his craft. I mean, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, no, he's within the framework of that song and the other one for mm -hmm. sure. Um, he, he did all the chords correctly. The chord structure was right and it, there's nothing more he could have done. It was perfect. And he had, mm -hmm. um, he was playing it well with good timing. Good, yeah. You know, good. Uh, I wonder, groove. I wonder if he so did the right. arrangement, like, did he figure out the arrangement for that or was it, written out uh, i i don't know um I, I imagine so that they're all him uh you know solo uh, guitar each one uh and he has his own inflections i mean there's not yeah you know he does a lot of the harmonics like we saw in the last yeah one. yeah which is he great do much on this one yeah uh, but he does that consistently again that's classically trained you know yeah so you can see that he just you know I've i used to see that a lot where they classical and they always want to branch out Right. And, uh, just again, some can't do it because they're just too stiff. Right. And then others just end up being able to do it. It's great. Yeah. No, it's, so it's incredible. I mean, he's got it to the point where, uh, you know, and I, I hear a lot of acoustic guitar players, you can hear the, the, the fingers on those strings sliding and, and, uh, kind of detract sometimes if it's too loud. You, you can't hear any of that. None of the flaws. So squarely. Yeah. Exactly. Perfectly on. It's like very soft the way he he plays those runs and stuff, but but the notes ring out perfectly. It, it's an, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, Good you know choice. what? I mean, lastly, I I think I'm I'm accurate, and we haven't checked it out, but 
uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that he's classically trained. So he had the discipline and mm -hmm. then you branch out. I think we're both a little jealous that we didn't have that because of then, course, you know, yeah. you just have that mastery yeah. because it's so strict and it's just, there's no laziness involved. Which yeah. Is, well, I don't uh, think we had the personalities to be able to, uh, to, to, to have, have that, that kind of discipline. Um, well, then you can but, be weird, you know, Vi and these, these guys oh, sure. who are trained like that. It's just, and then you can yeah. just be, you know, it's freedom, but yeah. So you work your ass off for decades and you come close. <laughs> All decades. right. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. glad you, you liked Kent Nishimura. Uh, yeah. Check out his uh, YouTube page. He does a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know. Got Definitely. Songs up there. Yeah. And if you guys like this, hit the like, hit subscribe. Be sure to hit this bell so you get notified whenever we come out with new stuff. And uh, until next time, rock and roll and disco. Kent Nishimura. Thank mm -hmm. you.